All right, hi, uh, this is Raymond Camden, and I'm going to show you some of the cool things that the Emmet or Zen Coding plugin can do within brackets. Now, I'm not gonna be showing everything, just a few examples to give you an idea of the kind of power that this extension gives you. And let's get started. So right away, you can see that if I type in something that is an HTML tag, I can do Control-Enter and have the extension actually automatically create that into a tag pair. Now that's just kind of a super simple example, but I can begin to use a few CSS rules and do things like this. So UL greater than LI to get a proper tag pair. I can even do things like, oh, well, let's say times four and get this. Now if you've ever had to generate a lot of HTML at one time, I think you can see how powerful this would be. Just to keep kind of showing you some more examples, if I want to apply a particular ID to it, I can just do a pound ID and like so. You can see it dropped it right in there. I could also add a class, let's say menu class, and you can see it dropped in there. And then obviously also kind of mix and match. So we'll call this main menu, class menu, and you can see bam it drew all that for me at once very 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 easy to uh, do one more really kind of very cool feature in this area uh, i can also insert some dynamic text in all this by just using brackets and the dollar sign to get bam so again i mean this can save you a heck of a lot of typing especially if you look at something like this i'll type table I'll uh, type TR, let's make four table rows, and we'll use the plus sign to mean adjacent, and I want, let's say, four columns. And then bam, I created this nice table, I got all those rows, I got all those columns with <laughs> about one second of typing, very, very nice. Speaking of saving on typing, you can also make paragraphs that have Lauren and some text. Again, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a website to get that text, and to have this actually within the extension is really, really nice. Now, this extension will actually work with any tag at all, so the fancy um, HTML5 headers, or really just anything you type at all. So if for some reason you wanted to have a foo tag, you could build that. Uh, this could be really useful for when you're doing things like XML. So that's a few examples of the expansions. There's also some basic CSS support as well. So I can say margin, let's say M10. Oops, oops, let me try it one more time, M10. There we go, all right. Uh, you can see it expanded out to margin and they have a couple other examples in there. In case you're curious, if you didn't want the PX, I can just do E to get EMs instead, okay? few more examples. Uh, if I'm working with numbers, like for example in the CSS here where I have a rotate of 59 degrees, I can do control up just to go up and ending. I'm sorry, obviously control down to go down as well. If I do control alt up, I'll go up by tens. And another really, really kind of fancy feature here um, you can see I have this transform here and then the versions for WebKit and Mozilla and you can imagine Opera and IE as well. But what's really cool is here is that I can actually edit the values of one of these and do Control Shift R and it updates all the other ones that are related to it as well. It's even smart enough to, to recognize that uh, I have opacity in one browser and I have a filter alpha opacity in the other. And if I go in here and say, let's make this 2.7 or 1.7, Control Shift R, and it modifies it correctly in the other one. So again, uh, this is just a few of the examples of you know, the, type, the types of stuff you can do. There's also really great support for navigating between your HTML tags, removing the parent tags, etc. There's a heck of a lot in here. In fact, you can actually use another extension uh, made by Randy Ed Edmonds that shows you all the shortcuts. And if we go in here, you can actually see that these are all the things that, that Emmet adds, and there's no way I could show all these or memorize all of these, but again, this other extension will actually help you see what's available. Anyway, I hope this uh, shows how cool the extension is.